before we flip the calendar to 2022, we thought we'd turn back the pages in time. In tonight News 8 throwback, we show you how revelers rang in the new year half a century ago here yeah. in San Diego, and we introduce you to some of the first New Year babies of the past. Aww. One of the noisiest New Year parties got underway at the International Room of the El Cortez Hotel, where last night the German American Society held its annual year-end affair. The party was just one of many gatherings to give 66 the Auld Lang Syne treatment. Restaurants, nightclubs, and hotels prepared for this night all week. At the El Cortez Convention Center, the New Year's noise was sort of coming out in stereo. While the German Americans were swinging upstairs, down in the Century Room, the single set kept things going until 4 a.m. If you were in a spending mood last night, there were plenty of opportunities. At Shifty's, the tab was $25 a couple for drinks and entertainment until 1. For those who wanted to eat their way into 67, Lascal Restaurant offered filet mignon, lobster, or duckling at $25. But Hotel Del Coronado topped them all at $35 a couple. New Year's Eve is, of course, the biggest party night of the year. And this afternoon, Channel 8 dropped in on some of the preparations for parties on tap for tonight. At the El Cortez, the Filipino community has booked the Century Room and plans an ethnic celebration. The Singles Club Association of San Diego will hold its seventh consecutive New Year's Eve ball in the El Cortez's Mammoth Cotillion Room. Six to seven hundred are anticipated for this party that is open to all unmarrieds in the 21 to 49 set. Balloons and party favors will be in abundance, with a rock band providing the entertainment. The El Cortez is expecting close to 3,000 people for four parties at the hotel. The Westgate Plaza is sold out for a party that will be catered in style, featuring a five-course dinner. Also included are party favors and a dance band. The cost, $37 a couple. 150 guests will be in attendance at the Westgate. In contrast, the Royal Inn at the Wharf will hold a free party sponsored by the San Diego Knights, a new social and charitable organization. This party, by invitation only, expects 500 revelers and a rock band, Arlene and the Brothers Five, will provide the entertainment. San Diego County's first baby of the new year made an unexpected arrival at 1.05 yesterday morning. Born to Mrs. James R. Roney of 739A California Street in Oceanside was a six-pound, one-and-a-half-ounce boy who, at last word, hadn't been named yet. A neighbor, Navy Hospital Corpsman Edward Wimley, made the emergency delivery in the living room of his home. Mrs. Roney, whose Marine husband is in Vietnam, was later taken to the Camp Pendleton Hospital, where she and the boy are reported doing fine. Balboa Naval Hospital was the place where San Diego County's first 1972 baby was born. The infant is a seven pound girl, born one second after midnight to Mrs. Benita Bennett, whose husband Richard is a sailor assigned to the carrier Kitty Hawk. Bennett and his wife have named their new daughter Kimberly Ann and will soon be taking her to their home at 4543 Alabama Street. Isn't it weird that the news used to give people's addresses? Now I'm like, oh, those are the actual scripts that were written 50 some years ago. If you would like to see the story again or any of our other News 8 throwbacks, go to CBS8.com and click on the throwback tab. And uh, Barb Nielsen, who's our archives editor, she just ran the script book into me. Look at this. 1971 <laughs> to 1972, exactly 50 years ago. Wow. And these are the scripts that, that is I read. amazing I should be a little bit more careful with these 50 yeah. years old but yeah the way it's really fun and to look yeah at how it is so fun to look how things were written how people dress back then yeah. it is amazing to see that and barb just she does an amazing does. job She's archiving all right these here. stories she, in, we want to get her in but she come won't come in come yeah in. Just a, she okay, does so much do her hair. <laughs> it's just such a fun way to uh to throw it back and, and, and to remember our past and to celebrate our past it's amazing i love this and by the way 35 dollars at the hotel bill back then you did the math. I calculated it with the inflation calculator. It's about three hundred dollars these days for a couple. That's, That's pretty pricey. Good deal. Yeah. Well. Pretty good deal. Yeah. Carlene will say it's yeah. one hundred That's true. Inflation. Yeah. I mean, I'm standing in my house you know, <laughs> with my family uh, eating uh, ramen. Probably, you know. <laughs> for those that like to go out. You know, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. I'll be at home. <laughs>